Oh, hi. In this video, I'm going to share with you a program that will teach you how to use a DSLR camera to create great photographies and videos. Also, stay, also stay till the end to see the bonus that is offered. It doesn't matter if you're a seasoned professional, beginner, or hobbyist photographer. If you want to take your DSLR video skills to another level and produce professional, world-class videos, keep watching. The best part is that what you're about to learn will work for you even if you're a one-man band without a crew or on a shoestring budget. But before we get to that, let me ask you a few questions. Are you new to DSLR video? Have you had a DSLR for a while but haven't ventured into shooting video because you're just not sure where to start? Are you a seasoned photographer who wants to add DSLR video to your arsenal? Do you want to make more money with your DSLR? Or do you want to learn how professional filmmakers shoot and produce video with a DSLR? I've teamed up with award-winning filmmaker Todd Wolf to finally create a solution to learn exactly how to shoot and produce breathtaking video with your DSLR in a matter of days. You don't have to deal with months or years of bad results and frustrating experimentation like I do. You also don't have to waste a ton of time trying to filter through the inaccurate and scattered tutorials available around the internet. And you won't have to spend a ton of time and money in school taking classes to learn everything we've included in this guide. But why wait? Let me give you some free tips right now, straight from the guide. And that's what Todd's going to explain. So what are the different frame rates we're going to be working with? General frame rates that everybody's going to find in their cameras is 24 frames per second, 30 frames per second, and 60 frames per second. So what you're saying is that at 24 frames we have literally 24 individual still images and 30, there's 60 still frames that all make up the video. I showed you guys a lot of different options that you have to get audio into the camera, but there's one mistake that I made when I first started out because I didn't know any better, and that was how to set the audio levels in my camera. I set it to auto, and auto may not be the right choice. Why is auto not the right choice, Todd? Well, it would be great if the camera did all the work. Unfortunately, when it's set to auto, and it's real quiet and nobody's talking, it looks for sound. And that isn't good. I hear a lot of hits in a lot of my early videos, and that really is the reason why. So what, what is the way around it? Well, the first thing you gotta do is get out of auto and go to manual. If you enjoyed that, be sure to watch until the end, because we'll give you another free look inside our video shoot. At first, I thought shooting video was easy. I set up the camera, set my exposure exactly how I would set it if I were taking a still, and then press the record button. Little did I know, I wasn't even close to doing things properly. I didn't know what a frame rate was and why it was important. I didn't understand that the exposure triangle was totally different for video, and I had no idea how important audio was. I quickly discovered that photography and videography are completely different animals, and just because you're proficient at one doesn't mean you're proficient at the other, which I found out the hard way. Here are some questions I have. How should the different settings be used for the look or style I want? How should I set up the scenes to keep the viewer engaged? What are the hidden rules of shooting amazing video that don't apply to still photography? How do I minimize the time I spend editing in post-production? How do I get the sound just right for any situation? What do I do as far as composition and storytelling to make the video memorable? And a bunch of other things like what gear should I use, what lighting equipment I needed, and how to do all of this on my own without a crew. I tried reading articles and watching videos from around the internet, but the information out there is scattered and often low quality. It made learning how to do it professionally on my own nearly impossible. At this point, I knew I needed guidance from someone who was more skilled at video production to show me all the things I was doing wrong and to guide me towards better video. Otherwise, I would continue wasting time shooting videos that were just good enough. So what did I do? When the time came to film some very large projects, I sought out a seasoned professional who was just as good at video production as I am at photography, and that was Todd Wolf. Our video. I like, hired him to I need a top-of-the-line DSLR camera and lots of expensive equipment to shoot quality video. Not true. In fact, on set, Todd used an entry-level DSLR camera to film his real-world shoots. People will also tell you that DSLR video is so complicated that the only way to learn is to go to college and spend tens of thousands of dollars on tuition and years of your time. This is also not true. 
We've taken our years of real world experience and condensed it down into a six hour comprehensive video guide that won't cost you thousands of dollars. Lastly, the biggest misconception of all is that you need a big crew to shoot quality DSLR video. This is absolutely not the case. That is why we structured this guide to show you that you can do this on your own as a one man band. When we say you can be a one man band, we really mean that you can do it all. You'll be able to set up any camera, lock in your settings, set up the lights, shoot the video, record the audio, add dimension with camera movement, direct the whole thing, and much more. Todd and I both wish we had a guide like this when we first started shooting DSLR video. It would have saved us a lot of money and years of frustration. It doesn't matter if you want to shoot videos of your kids, interviews, weddings, your own YouTube videos, movies, anything. Even if you want to make money, we've got you covered. In this guide, we pull back the curtains and not only teach you everything you need to know, we also take you on set so you can see how it all works as we're shooting video in the real world. You'll literally be able to see our exact camera settings, equipment setup, lighting, all of it. I really mean it when I say that anyone can shoot stunning DSLR video with any budget and any skill level. This course is a no holds barred, all access pass to Todd and my expertise. We seriously hold nothing back. It's like having us as your personal mentor at a fraction of the price. Better yet, you can watch these videos over and over again. So join us on the inside of the Fronos Photo Guide to DSLR Video and fast track your learning to finally create quality DSLR video quickly and efficiently That's on your own. Bonuses. My what? YouTube tips. I give you the exact model and mentality I follow for being successful on YouTube. Todd's editing tips. Todd gives you an entire video of bonus tips and tricks that he uses as a professional editor. Our DSLR video PDF checklist. This list will make sure you have everything you need before you get out on a shoot. Never leave home without it. And finally, we've created assignments. These assignments, both basic and advanced, are meant as homework because the only way you'll become a better filmmaker will be to get out there and shoot. So there you go. If you want to take your DSLR video skills or photography skills to another level, I would definitely recommend this program. And check the description below and click on the link for this program. Let me know what you guys think and I will see you on the next video.